You know, when there was Channa, Channa is, we found two different Channas, when there was Channas. Inside the Nikayas, one Channa is the, the, the imams who are sick, that is one Channa. Another Channa is the Bodhisattva's PA. Channa. He's a follower, he's a look after the house. Uh, hi, uh, horse, look after the Bodhisattva's right. So, Channa, when the Buddha renounced, Bodhisattva renounced, other day he followed. He's uh, so proud about uh, that. So proud of that. He never gave a Venerable Sariputta, never paid respect, Venerable Mogala, because when Bodhisattva renounced, at that time, Bodhisattva, horse, hands are only three. <laughs> now where, come, where did they come from? You see, now Sariputta, now Mogalana. He said, I don't care. <laughs> when we renounce, we are only three. <laughs> so proud. He never care, he never paid respect. Because uh, he so loved Bodhisattva Buddha. He loved Dhamma, he loved because of Dhamma is property of Buddha, he said. My Lord talk. The Buddha is my Lord. Dhamma is my Lord discourse. He never gave a Sangha. They are come later. Now they lead as a Sariputta, as a Moggallana, they have the post. He never care. The Buddha, the Buddha always punish, uh, instructed not to do so, but he never, only in front of the Buddha, he said nothing, but he remained in his pride. During Buddha's lifetime, you see, about 45 years, he's only Putrojana. Because he never paid respect to any monks. Even Venari was Buddha Maula, never care. So when the Buddha lying down on his dead back and Kusina, talked to Ananda. You must give punishment. You lay down the punishment, noble punishment. That is called Brahma Tanda upon Sana, Channa. During my lifetime, I cannot Instructed Chana. He will not obey any Sangha. So, after my death, after my brain nirvana, you put punishment on Chana. This punishment is a noble punishment. Brahma Dhanda. What is a noble punishment? All Sanghas, it's out of hand, it's communicate. Nobody talk to him. Whatever he he is doing, nobody talk to him. Nobody blame him. Nobody care him. So, when Binarivo, after Buddha Supranivana, Binarivo Ananda met Channa. Because uh, he may be respect Ananda, because Ananda is a Sakya prince. He is only the servant of Sakya. As a human social state that. So, Venerable Ananda announced before the Buddha death, the Buddha said the noble punishment to put on you. At that time, 
he said, fainted, so unhappy and fallen down. Because of, he always rely on the Buddha, depend on Buddha, my law, my law. He always said, now his law is no more. <laughs> Only Sangha has remained, no Buddha. So he is alone now. <laughs> When Sangha is, is communicated, he's so unhappy. After that, he abandoned his conceit. Please, Benarivo Ananda, don't do like that. <laughs> don't do like that. So Benarivo Ananda gave him the way. If you obey, if you practice meditation, if you obey Sangha, if you follow the Sangha, we will promote, we will abolish this punishment. So he requests, he followed the Sangha's advice. Several times he practiced meditation not to succeed, but he depended on Ananda, after Buddha. In river, Ananda is really evil, I must go to Ananda. Venerable Ananda, I approached many elder monks. Please advise me how to practice meditation. They say, you must contemplate Anicca Dukkha Nata. You must contemplate Anicca Dukkha Nata. The many monks instructed in this way. I also know Anicca Dukkha Nata. Not succeed. Practice is not a succeed. So Venerable Ananda, when he meet Venerable Ananda, Venerable Ananda has explained the cause and effect through Kajayana Goda Sutta. Kajayana Goda Sutta is mainly, the main point is Paticca Smupa. Without Paticca Prakaha Jnana, he tried to practice Vipassana. Without the attainment of Nama Rupa Prachera, without the attainment of, without the foundation, that is the meaning. Without the foundation, Nama Rupa Prachera, Pachaya Prega, he started Anicca Dukkha Ananda. Therefore, not succeed. Venerable Ananasa is playing. Following his advice, he became Arahant later. That is Sutta also can be found in Sayyuta Nikaya. So that is also must be careful. When we follow the Vipassana practice, we must lay down our foundation. We must lay down our foundations firmly. That is in Nama, Rupa, Prachira, Jnana and Pachaya Prika. So Nama Rupa Prachira Jnana means first we must clearly see only Nama Rupa, we must remove Sata Sanya, concept of being, concept of men and women, concept of something. Only concept we must remove, just remain in ultimate realities, mind and matter. When our view, through our view, when we, when we have the Namarupa, Sama Vipassana, the Namarupa Prachiranyana as a view, correct view, we can wash away Sakaya Deity. Then, that is not enough. We must clarify this Namarupa. After finding clearly seeing Nama Rupa, we must trace what is the cause of Nama, what is the cause of Rupa. We must see together with the cause. Only seeing Nama Rupa is not enough. Why this Nama Rupa arises? 
That is, knowledge is important in that case. So, according to yogi, we must see roughly causing effect to establish this knowledge. For example, when you follow anabana, breathe and breathe out. First notice three. Three means uh, breathing. In the breathing, there is air. Where the air touch, no strip. This is sensitive body. Where the air touch, sensitive body. Then touch, no way of touching. Three things, three phenomena. Must notice. First, we notice these three different, different characteristics, different functions. When the air comes into inside, it's attached in the nostril. The air is the characteristic of motion, with the characteristic of motion, air element. That is air element. No strict where the air touched is a sensitive body. In Bali we can say Kayan cha pate cha futabe cha opachati kaya vinyana. Kaya means a sensitive body. Futaba means you see tangible object. Here air is a tangible object. Tangible object, sensitive body. These are two material qualities. If it's separated, nothing. If you meet it together, touching or notice a beard, mind a beard. Before touching, mind does not a beard, dealing with this. Inside, so that several sodas that the Buddha mentioned, depending on sensitive body, intangible object, body consciousness arises. In that case, as a meditation practitioner, you noticed on the air and sensitive body, meeting of the air and sensitive bodies are cause. Knowing of touching or body consciousness is effect. You see cause and effect in the right knowledge, in your knowledge. Because of Without a touching, without a meeting of these two, touching of notice cannot arise. Body consciousness cannot arise, you see. When you play piano, without a pushing your fingers, sound not a bias, you see. Sound a bias because of the condition, cause and condition. So that is the cause. Sound is an effect. In this way, when the air touched no street, no way of touching, consciousness arises. So consciousness has consciousness effect. The consciousness cause is a meeting of these two. So you notice cause and effect in this way. When you open your eye, The visual object replied on the eye. Then seeing consciousness arises. So this seeing consciousness never arises itself without a cause. It's a meeting of these two, I and visual object. Eye consciousness have to arise. So now you understand the cause, cause and effect. Just right now we, we hear the sound, by the sound. So the yeah, sound is one thing. Our sense of the ears, sound, the ear is a contact meeting together. 
the knowing of the sounds appear. If you know the sound, such a notice not appear. So that is also cause and effect. We have to know. This is a direct with the direct knowledge we can know can be known this way. If it's deeper knowledge, we must consider Patejas Mobara and Anas also. Here material qualities, some material qualities, a cause is a karma. That is it cannot be directly known. Cannot be known direct according to direct knowledge. Chaita Utu Ahara. According to Chaita, some material quality arises as can be experienced in this life. Because of you see, when we are happy, our face becomes smile. When we are unhappy, face is not a smile, serious face. So that is a clearly. When we are angry, the eyes become red, face also become red. So that is it. I the the jada is the anger is a cause. The become red, red color is effect. Oh. Cause and effect. We can know directly these are cause and effect. But it cannot be known all. Whatever we experience, we mustn't know. Only Buddha, only the Buddha can know everything. We have it in our touch. We mustn't know this. If we know cause and effect in this way, we clear in our view. Oh, this is not a created one. Because of that is a cause. Because of that cause, that appear. We can decide whatever may be there is a cause, depending on cause, effect arises, we understand, clearly understand. Whatever may be there is a cause. When cause appeared, it arises. Then we understand. When this cause exists, that effect exists. Arising of cause, effect have to rise. Prasad Mubara is, you see, briefly talk about. Ima Same Sati Idan Hoti. When this exists, that exists. That is the meaning. When this arises, that arises. Cause and effect. When the medians of eye and visual object, unconsciousness arises. That is, it must be a deep hidden holding. When this exists, that exists. So, everywhere, everything has its own cause and effect. Without a cause, and nothing arises. During meditation practice, Whatever you see, there is a cause, effect, both you can see. There is a goal, Pachaya Prekha. Not only to realize a Nama Rupa, you realize a Nama Rupa together with it, it is a cause. So, your knowledge increase. Before you notice only Nama Rupa, then you know about the Nama Rupa more. With the cause, cause also you understand. Through this knowledge, this is called Kinka Vitarana Visodhi. This knowledge is called Kinka Vitarana Visodhi. Nama Rupa Pachaya Brighanyana, knowledge of causality is view, a view. Kinka Vitarana Visodhi. That view, that knowledge can pass over, can overcome doubt. Can overcome doubt. No doubt, because we clearly see that is a cause, that is effort. As long as this exists, that exists. 
When there is no, no this, that cannot arise as. So clearly see cause and effect. Kenka, kanka, vitarana. Kanka means a doubt. Vitarana means overcome. Vitarana is overcome. Visodhi means seeing. Seeing causality, seeing cause. This is knowledge. Pachaya, Brekha, Jnana. That is, can overcome doubt. That is the meaning. Most of the translators use purification. Purification. Huh? Overcoming all doubt. What is the translation also? Do you remember? Purification is all doubt. It must be good translation. Hmm? Overcoming down. Um, it's a part two have a translation. Part two. Nine. Yes. Sila we saw the ninety-six. Kanka Vidarana we saw the we saw the uh yeah the knowledge that overcomes a doubt. Yeah. Yeah, we saw the overcoming doubt and purifying by removing wrong view such as non existence of cause and untrue cause as that is how you see according to commentary is a translation complete translation okay you see that you is kenka vidana visodhi is a two way that is kenka vidana visodhi is a call pachya brega jnana okay pachya brega jnana is a knowledge a knowledge that overcomes a doubt that is one 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 function Doubt. And purifies it. That is knowledge can purify. That knowledge purifies by removing wrong views and uh, such as. Visodhi means uh, washing away wrong view. Yeah. Uh, one, one benefit. Visodhi is another benefit. Two benefit to explain. Okay? Two function. Knowledge has a uh, two function. Partly, uh, on one hand, it overcome doubt. On other hand, it purify. Purify. What is it? Impure wrong views. You see, uh, what is it there? Huh? No existence of cause or untrue cause as a true cause. That is Ahituka Deity and Visama Ahituka Deity. Creator, believing creator. So, no? Ahituka Deity. Visama Hitu Deity means that he accepts a cause. That a cause and not correct cause. Creation is a cause. He, he accepts a cause. Creation as a cause. As a cause. That is an untrue cause. Cause means a true cause, untrue cause. Creation is an untrue cause. Only Patejas Mubara and these causes, natural causes, are true cause. When do you say this? Two wrong views are removed. That is, two wrong views are removed. What is it? One wrong view is Ahituka Deity. Then, Visama Hitu Deity means Isara Nimana and Isra. So first knowledge is removed, Sakaya Deity. Second knowledge is removed, Ahituka Deity. And Visma Hitu Deity. So these two knowledges are very important for those who practice Vipassana. So when you practice Vipassana, your foundation must be 
You must lay foundations firmly. So it's important. These are foundations. It's okay? So let me stop a minute.